Hey, what's up y'all? Today we're gonna go over Canva and show you how to make a photo booth template. There's two types of templates we can make. We can make templates for 360 photo booths or we can make templates for regular photo booths. Let's start off with the regular photo booth. So, I'm gonna pop into Canva. You can see my screen right here. Canva is the software that I choose to use. I pay for the Canva Pro and I also have a link in the description if you wanna use Canva Pro. But Canva Pro gives me some options that you might not have in other features. Uh, and other programs. So let me get, let me show you what uh, features I'm talking about. So right now I have Canva up. The first thing we're going to do is hit, click on create a design and uh, we're going to go to custom size. Now for a photo booth, we have two different sizes. We have a two by six and a four by six. And I'll show you what it looks like shortly. But for this one, we're going to click on inches and we're going to go two by six and create a design. And now we have our two by six template. Now these are templates that people typically use for a photo strip. This is the, the standard size that people usually use. We're gonna do a four by six soon, but let's start off with this. So two by six template, you know, we can just go in here, look up designs. Let's say they wanna do, I don't know, a New Year's design. Let's just type in New Year's, see what pops up. Here's a New Year's design. We can click one of these. I kind of like this one. We can get rid of the text. We can get rid of this part right here. And then, you know, we can put the sparklers a little down here. You know, actually we can take off these sparklers. We can add some text. You know, let's just do a, this one's a good one. And we can write Happy New Year on it. Happy New Year. You know, put that down, down here. Let's space it out just a little bit, just because the spacing looks a little awkward. So that looks good. There we go. And there we go. If we want to change the font, we also can. But right now, I just want to get some, some an easy template. If you wanted to add another one, we can easily click down here, hit design. We go Christmas, Christmas, New Year's banner, sure. Oh, I'll just say current. Christmas. Here's some Christmas banners. You know, people always want stuff for the holidays. Here's a good one. Pop that in there. Take this font, put it down there. You know, we can add a little backdrop on it. So let's go to elements. Let's use a shape. You know, let's use a shape. Put that right behind here. Now it's Merry Christmas and they can see it. Perfect, you know what I'm saying? So these are a quick, fast holiday, uh, you know, templates we can make. You see in two, three minutes, you can come in here and make a template real quick and easy. Um, but before I show you how to do that, let's make a, a four by six template. So same process. We're gonna go six and we're gonna go four. Create design, here we go. We got a four by six template. You know, people usually have it for for photo booths, let's go with this blue one. You know, we can add some text and we could say, you know, we can do a happy graduation. Or we can go, we can get one of these, type it there. That one, that one. And just leave with this one and say happy graduation. Sorry guys, my spelling is the worst. Let's go uh, 20. Let's put, that, let's put that to 20 also. 20. Cool. Put that down here. Happy graduation. And there we go. We have our old template there. Now, these templates are very simple. You notice that I didn't put the, the photo booth boxes in there. And that's because every every photo booth software has its own boxes for the for the pictures that they take you know what they're actually doing their pictures that inputs it in there so i like to keep it all bland i don't like to cut out boxes and areas for the photo booths to go to that way when i put it in the software for that photo booth for this photo booth for any type of photo booth software I, I have more flexibility i can place boxes wherever i want you know if i if i place a box here and say oh this is a this is the main spot for the photo booth i mean for the photo booth photo then I'm locking myself into that area, you know, because it's already cut out in the design. And I don't want, I like to keep my designs really basic um, lead, so I can have some flexibility and leeway when I get to the photo booth. So this is how I do it. I make it into, in Canva, 
you know, and then I'm pretty much done. Now, my, one of my favorite features about Canva, one, is that I can add photos um, into it. So let's say, oh, this person wanted to add, you know, a picture of themselves. I'm gonna find a picture of me. Let's see, it's a picture of Lenisa C. This is a picture of me right here. I can take this picture out and then the Canva Pro subscription level, I can hit on edit image and I can click on remove background. And now I have myself cut out in the template and I can just add myself anywhere. So I'm sure you guys seen a lot of templates where people added themselves, you know, to their to their uh, photo booth template. But this is the this is my favorite way to you know add photos of people. You know, I can I can add photos of, of my friend Ashley. Here we go. We can hit edit image, hit remove background, and just like that, it's gonna remove all the other stuff out and just keep just her in the photo. And I can just add her to the other side. You know what I mean? So it's really amazing software, it's really useful, and it helps me just fly through all the designs I have to make. All right, y'all, this is Ty from the Future. I couldn't let y'all go without giving y'all this top secret tip when you're making new designs in, in Canva. So look, to be honest with you, I'm not that creative, but I found this one thing that I think is gonna change a lot of people's uh, perception of Canva. So for instance, right here, right? There's gonna be, you know, you're gonna make templates that are two by six, that are four by six, that are for the 360 photo booth, whatever. And sometimes they might not be the size that you need them to be when you see the design. So say you're just looking through, you didn't make a design yet, you're just looking through, right? So I just typed in holiday, just looking at a bunch of templates and say I see this template, right? Now I need to make a, I hit customize template and I need to make a two by six photo booth strip, right? So what I can do is I can click on resize because I have the pro edition of Canva, you know, the one that I pay for, and I can change this to inches. I can do two by six, and guess what? Now, I have a two by six template. Now there's some things that are out of, out of, out of whack, so you gotta move stuff around, but now, you know, I move that up there, move that up there. Now I got a whole template just completely done. Let's say I need to make this template into a wider template. Oh, your client doesn't like this template. They want the four by six. Okay, hit resize, I'm gonna hit, six by four, go backwards a little bit, six by four, just to make it the right size that we can see. And now look, now I have this whole template this way. Guys, this is amazing. Make sure you try resize it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe because I'm giving away my secrets, man. Come on, man, this is a good one. All right, five minutes, this is, this is less than a minute. Find a template, resize it, now you're done. Now, best part about Canva, in my opinion, because I do a lot of stuff on a laptop and this is nice and fun and I really enjoy it. But sometimes I get to a client and I made this all on my laptop, but the client wants to change something. Well, on your phone, you can go right to Canva. So hold on, let me go to Canva right on my phone. So yeah, I can go right to Canva. I can click on uh, uh, the project that I'm currently working on and I can manipulate it. So as you can see on my screen, I can type on this. I can retype that, take some words out. And you know, happy reunion. I can move this up here. I can move this over here. I can move this over here. Change these two sides. And I can write, you know, I can change the font. I can change the words and just happy new years. All from my phone. And then from there, all I have to do is connect the photo booth to the internet, go to Canva and just download it, you know? So let me show you how to download real quick. Obviously you come over here, you hit share, you hit download, make sure that you change this to JPEG for your photo booth stuff. And then obviously you get whatever you want and then hit download. And then I can download this JPEG, it comes right to my computer. And obviously if I'm working on any other computer, I'll be able to just add it to the photo booth template. Now, some things to be aware of. This works great. Um, but you want to make sure for your photo booth templates that they always come in JPEG and you get these dimensions right. If the dimensions are off by a little bit, you can always stretch it out, but that's just something to keep in mind. Now, let's go over how to make a 360 photo booth template. So in, in TouchPix, they want something very specific for the program that I use. They want a PNG file that's transparent because you're gonna have this outer layer that's just like your borders that goes around everything that you're doing. And then inside of that, that's where you're gonna see the people moving and stuff like that. So let me show you an example. 
So, here's an example of all our templates that we've, that we've made. Just so you can kind of see. So here's a template that we made. Here's another template that we made. It's just very simple stuff. We just put stuff around the background. Here's the 31st birthday. You know, we did the technique where we just click on uploads, click on their photo, you know, and then just hit edit image, remove background, and then we can add them to anywhere on the photo, on the template, I mean. Just give it a second. Then we can just add them to the template wherever we want. We can put them on that side, and Command D, duplicate them, and then put the other one on this side. And then we just do the same thing, you know? Just add an image, add an image, background move, and it's perfect. So that's just an easy, easy way to manipulate the templates. But let me st let's start from scratch, just so you can kind of understand. But I just wanted to give you an idea. These are how the templates look. You know, they're just empty templates, just like this. We make them all the time. It takes about five minutes, but let's do it. Let's, let's, let's time ourselves and do it, see how long it takes. So, let's make a quick design. So, I go to create a design. I'm gonna go custom size. I'm gonna do 1920 by 1080. Create a custom design. There we go. And then I start looking for some elements. Let's see if we're gonna make like a New Year's one, what things we can look for. So New Year's, here's a Happy New Year's template, easy peasy. Um, but I'm looking for something that more, that we can uh, be more flexible with. So here's a good one. All right, let's see if we can take the background out, cause that's the main thing. So this thing's here, but can we take the background out? Perfect. Yep, that's all I want. I want the 2023 on this side, maybe Happy New Year's right here. You know, keep this right here in this corner over here. And there we go. That's a template right there. Cause you gotta remember, all the things that you need are in the front and your background needs to be transparent so people can, can show up in the background image. But let's test it out real quick, just so you understand. So I'm gonna go to download. I'm gonna download this as a PNG, as a PNG, and I'm also gonna hit transparent backdrop, just so the backdrop doesn't show up in the actual footage. So I hit download, I'm gonna download it right there. I'm gonna go to touch pics real quick. Now here's my touch pics. I'm gonna make a new one real quick. I'm gonna duplicate. I'm gonna hit test. I'll call it test. I'm gonna go to designer. I'm gonna go to the 1920 by, by 1072. Here we go. Use template. Manage overlays. Upload overlays from computer. I'm gonna use this design that we just found. Let me just download it, see how this background's transparent. I'm gonna drag this right over. Upload. Now go to overlays, find the one that we just added, which is this one. And here's our New Year's template. Now you do have to, you know, uh, scale it up to fit correctly. I just had save to event. And now it's all saved. So from here, we're gonna return the touch picks. Return the touch picks. I'm gonna close out this old event. So let me close this out real quick. Close event, yes. I'm gonna scan this QR code. Close that event out. Then I'm gonna activate the new event. And if you wanted to check your overlay just to make sure it's in there, you can click on overlays. And from here you can see it's in there. But let's go back just so you guys can have a full test. Hit the QR code. I'm gonna hit activate event on the phone. I'm gonna scan the QR code, the QR code to make sure it's working. So now that I have it on my phone, I'm just gonna show you a quick test section. So you can see that 
everything is showing up on the screen. I'm doing a little test run by myself. You know, making sure the camera gets all the stuff in there. You know, make sure it looks all good. Cool. And while that's adjusting, I'll go back and download it so you guys can see a preview of it. So we're gonna go back to dashboard, events, and then go to gallery. And it'll show up in the gallery once it's fine. Now let's see, let's check out the video real quick. So this is our template that we made earlier. Let's just see if it worked right. So nothing's working. But as you can see, everything's there. I have the Happy New Year's, I have the 2023. I got all the sparkles and stuff. That's why you want everything to be transparent. If I left it not transparent, nothing would show up. It would just be a blank. It'd be the white backdrop with the Happy New Year 2023, everything, but you won't see me or anything in the camera. So that's gonna be it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video on how to make a photo booth template. In the next couple of videos, I'm gonna break down everything from the beginning to the end using touch picks. Once we have that software, you'll be all set and ready to go with your 360 booth.